Today I'm reviewing a game where a young hero is struck down with a terrible curse. No, not Majora's Mask. No, not Castlevania II Simon's Quest. That's right. It's Wonder Boy, The Dragon's Trap. In Wonder Boy The Dragon's Trap, you fight a series of dragons in order to regain your human form. But each dragon turns you into a new animal, and each of those have their own special abilities. The lizard can breathe fire, the bird can fly through the sky, and the fish can swim. There are some RPG elements to this 2D platformer. Defeating enemies helps you upgrade your attack and defense stats, and they react differently with each animal. Enemies will also drop special weapons, like arrows and fireballs, but my personal favourite is the boomerang. You throw it out, it hits the enemy, once it comes back it hits them again, but if you're not there to catch it, it will fly off the screen and you'll have to find another one. This is a remake of a classic 1980s game, but with hand-drawn visuals and a beautifully orchestrated soundtrack. But you can switch back to the original sound and vision anytime you like at the press of a button. Even though I grew up with this, and I absolutely love it, I found myself constantly drawn back to the modern vision and sound. The graphics are colourful and cartoony, and the music is simply joyful. But you can play it any way you want. By modern standards, this game is quite short. Within four or five hours, you'll be facing the final dragon. Where the game tries to make up for this, though, is in its challenge. When you lose a life, and you will, you wind up back in the hub village, stripped of all your special weapons. It may only take you 10 minutes to get back to where you were, but getting those special weapons back takes time and grind. And you definitely want those boomerangs. Wonder Boy The Dragon's Trap is a beautiful remake of a great game. It might have been nice to have a few new levels or even some checkpoints, but I think that could have robbed the game of some of its challenge. Whether you're an older Spawnling who played the original or a young Spawnling who's never heard of Wonder Boy, this is a fantastic game to add to your collection. I'm giving it three and a half out of five rubber chickens. Oh, oh no, Mecha Dragon. Fine, I'm giving it four out of five rubber chickens. You can turn me back now. Ah. <sighs>